Science is the fundamental of technology. It is the ultimate human pursuit, coming together to solve the most challenging problems that we face as humanity today. Research is a lot of fun because when you do discover something, it's something that only you know and no one else in the world knows. And with science, we can make our world more beautiful. When I was in university, I first saw an embryo was dividing right in front of me. So that was like looking at life happening. And that is what inspires me to go into this field to understand this whole process of developmental biology. And lately, I've also become somewhat of a genetic detective. I look at patients that have rare diseases and I try to understand the genetic mutations that cause these diseases. I have solved a mystery to a disease where patients are born without a nose. So this disease is called Bosma syndrome or short uh, BAMS. We discovered that uh, BAMS is caused by mutations in one single gene and this gene is called SMCHD1. And so by understanding more about this gene, we hope to be able to develop a therapy. To realize the true potential of AI, we need to really reinvent computers bottom up, combining the ability to store and process information, kind of like the human brain. So what we have done at ASTAR is to develop the capability to scale spin-orbit technology all the way from textbook quantum physics to a eventual prototype chip, developing a suite of state-of-the-art capabilities going from materials and device fabrication to the eventual prototyping to develop a real chip. Skirmions are very small magnetic structures that form natural elements for next generation computing. What we have done is to develop a material system which for the first time offers knobs to control the size, density and stability of these skirmions. We are working on 2D materials and the 2D materials actually is a thin film that we can reduce the thickness into one atom thickness. Uh, we found a universal method, like uh, by adding salt, so we can make a really large number of 2D materials people call transition metal dichotomous. This makes our group the top in the world who can make the most 2D materials. And our 2D materials will become game changers in many applications like energy, catalysis, and electronics. This work is a milestone in nanomaterials we want to use our materials to make it into a real product. We also want to use this product to improve people's life. It is about bringing together people with complementary capabilities together address a problem which is extremely challenging to solve. You have to keep going because what you get out of it is worth all the failures. It's uh, not easy, but if you do like it, you just spend all of time on it. I'm really excited to get this award. And this award actually, to me, is a driving force so that I can make more contribution to this country. Singapore is recognized for doing world-class science so I hope we can sustain our excellence. It is now our responsibility to come together and shape the future of Singapore.